Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I've got a new MC Edit filter for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and push this green button on this big lump of command blocks. And we're going to get another big lump of command blocks. Okay, so I'm going to push the green button on this big lump of command blocks. And we'll get Mario. It's my avatar. My skin. Um, okay, so I can press the red button here. And we'll go ahead and delete Mario. And press the red button here. Go ahead and delete this other command block structure. So I've I've basically just used the filter twice to create a uh, a bunch of command blocks that all have set block. Every single one of these command blocks just has a set block command in it, uh, and they summon an entire structure. So this one summons that secondary command block structure, and there's no reason I have this other than to demonstrate that it works with command blocks. And it works with, you know, redstone and stuff, and buttons and everything. And this one also has just a bunch of set blocks, uh, and that summons the Mario. Now, if you look closely, you can notice a bunch of redstone blocks appear when I push that button. Basically, what's going on is there's a bunch of command blocks here, and they uh, summon in redstone, and then delete that redstone, or the redstone blocks, that is. Uh, on basically on the command blocks here and that's what powers all of this giant structure of command blocks it's a little bit hard to power an, a huge structure like this so uh, the redstone blocks are, are a nice way to do that so and the same thing for the deleter here uh, and all of these that's how it works so uh, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and delete these one last time I wanna demonstrate how this works in MC Edit so what I've got here is just a little door um, you can close the door you can open it back up but I want to demonstrate that it's got all this redstone and repeaters and everything and that all works with the filter so I'm gonna head over to MC edit and show you how to use the filter alright so here's that door in MC edit uh, basically to use the filter we're gonna go ahead and select the door and just all the blocks around it. it's not that not that important to get a tight bound on it just as long as we have all the blocks selected I'm gonna go to the filter uh, tab over here. I'm, I have the set block structure filter and that's the filter that I made. I'm going to check the set structure region box. Uh, it's the second to last checkbox. And what this will do is it'll set the structure region as the current selection. So when I'm spawning or deleting a structure it's going to spawn or delete the structure that's in the currently selected region. So I hit filter that doesn't do anything yet. Um, I have to ge generate this command block separately. So in order to do that I need to select another region and I'll try and select one that's a little bit too small to begin with um, just to show you how it works so if I hit filter now I'm gonna uncheck the set structure region box and check the build command blocks box uh, now one of those two boxes should be checked every time you run the filter depends on whether you know which thing you're trying to do um, now there's a bunch of options here but I'll get to that in a moment if I hit filter it shouldn't work uh, it says there are 157 blocks in the destination selected destination selection, but only space for 90 command blocks in this selection. You need about 1.7 times as much space. So basically, it fills it fills whatever space you give it. Um, so let me make it a bit taller, and, and it should work. Um, and if I hit filter, it'll uh, it should work now. So you can see it kind of fills whatever space you give it. So you can shape the command blocks as you want. Um, I'm going to actually delete that, but let me let me show you all the options here. So the first checkbox is include air blocks. That means it'll, you know, delete anything I guess that in the air blocks. Basically, it just means it, it'll it, it'll not just look for solid blocks for to use with the set block commands. It'll, it'll look for air blocks too. Uh, positioning relative or absolute means will the set block commands use the tildes or will they use absolute coordinates? You want to use relative if you plan to move around the command block structure and you want the the spawn structure to move relative to that you want to use absolute if you want to move around the command block structure without moving where the structure is going to spawn and then method is replace keep or destroy um, that's the the method on the set block command and then there's this checkbox um, which is structure deleter which uh, i'm going to go ahead and check and that means that the command blocks that i've created here are 
are going to delete the structure. Now I've actually selected too much space now. You can see there's a couple layers of stone that don't have any command blocks in them. So I'm going to go ahead and actually delete this and select less space so that I'm not wasting all that extra space. I hit filter, it should work, and now we're not really wasting any space this time. So this is a deleter because I have that structure deleter box checked and you'll, you'll, you'll notice it has a little red wool block on it. Uh, and that's where you power it in order to delete the structure. I'm going to do the same thing again, but I'm going to uncheck the structure deleter box and I'm going to hit filter. Um, now I don't have enough space because the, the non deleter is, has a slightly different structure or the structure sp spawner, I guess, has a slightly, slightly different structure to it. So if I hit filter, this is actually going to take a little bit more space, I guess, but you'll notice there's a green block on this one and that means it's, it's going to, it's actually going to create the structure when you power that. So I'm going to go ahead and just, um, oops, looks like I still have the world open. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, do this again and save it and show you back in, in Minecraft what it looks like. All right, so here we are back in Minecraft, and we've got the two um, structures, well, the structure spawner the, in green and the structure deleter uh, in red. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a button and make sure it works. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and power this one, then power this one. So this one should delete the entire structure, and it does that just fine. And then this one should spawn it back in. And it looks like I think we're good. Now let's give it a test. Um, let's close the door. Yep, open the door. Okay, so there is going to be an issue here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if I close the door and delete it, it's not going to delete a couple of those um, blocks because the... These were just air blocks in the original version of the thing, so I want to I maybe would want to check the the air blocks thing if I was doing it for this. Um, but spawn it back in now, uh, and there's a couple things I want to note. One is uh, the structure spawner uh, has three stages. Um, basically, the first stage is spawn in all the solid blocks. So that's the sandstone and the pistons and uh, anything that doesn't rest on another block. And then the second stage is spawn in all the redstone. So all the redstone dust, the repeaters, the torches, the buttons, all the things that require another block in order to exist. The reason for that is if you spawn in the redstone and then the sandstone, the redstone won't be able to exist on its own and it'll just delete, uh, delete itself and so that's no good. So it has to spawn them in in that order so there's a little bit of delay. And then the third stage is delete, um, delete all the uh, the redstone blocks. So when you see that here, um, there's it, you see the redstone blocks appear here first, and then here second. It's because this is where all the 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 first layer here is where all the solid blocks get spawned. Second layer is where all the redstone blocks get spawned. And then with the deleter, it also has a similar delay because it wants to delete the like re the redstone dust and repeaters and stuff before it deletes the solid blocks. Otherwise, you're going to get uh, the redstone dropping on the ground and, and everything. So you don't, if you don't want those tile drops, you have to delete them in that order as well. So uh, that's one thing to note about how, how this works. Of course, you can, you can download the filter in the video description and play around with it for yourself. Uh, very useful. You can definitely spawn much larger things with this technique much quicker uh, than you could with, uh, with spawners using falling sand. And the other cool thing is... Uh, if you use the absolute coordinate checkbox, um, you can actually move these entire structures around and it's a lot easier to deal with, with that uh, in MC Edit by just, by just moving the entire structures, cutting and pasting or whatever. And, uh, and, and that's a very useful feature uh, if you're trying to build, build an actual map. Uh, but yeah, check it out, try it out, uh, hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching.